The national parks are a safe haven for wild animals, which, when combined with natural features, provide phenomenal game rights for tourists. However, some parks have been on the verge of extinction due to poaching. Such was the fate of Meru National Park, which is now regaining its place on the wildlife table. George Maringa takes us through a tour of the beauty within. Situated right on the equator with the backdrop of fantastic views of Mount Kenya, the Meru National Park that rests east of Meru Town has been a safe haven for different species of wild animals. A game drive through the 870 square kilometers Kenyan game park reveals the beauty found within. From zebras to warthogs. Due to the rainy season, food is in plenty, thus providing favorable environment for the animals to multiply. We witness a male ostrich making rather interesting advances to females. He performs a special dance, we are told, in a bid to entice them. To whom he pleases, together they move majestically to a different location to form a family. Antelopes graze freely within the park together with their distant cousins, the waterbucks. However, the situation of the park was not always like this. Uh, way back in the, in the 90s, we used to get very high visitation. The numbers were quite high. We were competing favorably with the big parks, the big reserves in the country. But uh, over time, the numbers went down for various reasons. One of them was general insecurity around the region. In the 1980s, the population of the park was greatly affected due to illegal poaching. Tourist numbers dwindled, thereby affecting business. However, once security was restored within the region, we have seen an improvement in the numbers. And I believe within the next few years, we will be back to where we were or even surpass the numbers that we were getting uh, about two decades ago. The Big Four traverse the National Park majestically, oblivious of the threats they faced about two decades ago. The park features indigenous long-tusked elephants. Established in 1968, the Meru National Park is home to four reserves, Bisanadi, Kora, Rahole and Mwingi. Over 13 rivers and streams flow within, so does the invisible equator line. It's a gold mine in Meru. So we request people who are going to the beaches, at least they try to combine with other, like, uh, with, with other tourism products, like uh, game drives, mountain climbing, cycling, sport tourism. The park is most famous as the setting for Joy Adamson's book and film, Born Free. It is the story of two researchers, Joy and her husband, George Adamson's life and research amongst lions and cheetahs. Elsa the lioness was the most well known and her grave is marked here. For the local people, for the domestic tourism, I ask you kindly visit Meru National Park. There are so many other attractions within the country. So as part of your package, if you have already been to the coast, try another area, try Meru, and you'll definitely enjoy. George Maringa, KTN News at the Meru National Park.